after you've finished working with your site and you're ready to share it with someone, whether that's in a draft form, in a conference, or with me uh, in the final exit review, you want to make sure that you publish your website, which is very, very easy to do. Just come to the top right, click the orange button. It'll ask you if you're ready to publish, and um, it will say that the website is published and you have this uh, URL, the one that you signed up for initially, that's ready and live. And if you notice when you type in that URL, then you get um, the regular uh, look without the editing banner. At some point in time, you may, uh, after the semester, want to take it down, uh, unpublish the site, but still retain all of the content that you've worked on. Maybe you want to add in a couple things, you want to spend some more time with it, and you can easily unpublish the site without having to actually delete it. You can do that through the Settings tab. Just go to the bottom um, and click Archive Unpublish. If you click Unpublish Site, it'll ask you if you're sure, confirmation, and then what will happen, um, I'm going to show you here, if I go back to the same URL and try and load it, it's going to tell me that the site has not been published. The great thing about unpublishing is that um, you know it gives you a little bit of control over what's viewable on the web without actually having to delete the whole site or delete you know all the work that you've put into it. Easily move it around, go back, republish it, you've got that live URL and, and the site's back up again. So like I said, make sure that anytime you are getting ready to share this content with somebody else, you do click the orange publish button. That's going to make sure that it pushes the most recent version and the most recent updates out to the web so that anybody viewing that URL has access to your most recent draft.